Hey yo, what is going on guys, DBZ Mato signing on here, and welcome back to another trailer breakdown video. Now, I'm very excited for this one, because as you know guys on the channel, I am a big Resident Evil fan, as you know, <laughs> I have a lot of Resident Evil videos, and I am excited to say that Resident Evil has dropped another live action movie trailer. Now, I know Resident Evil doesn't have exactly the best track record when it comes to, you know, live action movies with that whole mess of other movies we got, which I personally was not a fan of. I actually really hated those movies, except for maybe the first one, which was kind of okay, but the rest were just hot garbage for me, but, sorry about that, my sister walked in, um, but anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought, dang it, I was like, so I have to, all right, so, yeah, I'm not, I, I wasn't a personal fan of those movies, but I am very excited for this, because this one looks like, from what I saw, uh, from, from the whole, like, because I, I saw the cast, I, I knew this movie was coming out, and I, I forgot, like, I didn't, I forgot it was coming out this year, I thought it was next year, but it's decided it's coming out this year, and honestly, it looks like it's setting, take the settings from the Resident Evil 1 to Resident Evil 3. So I am very excited because I know that that's whole storyline is good, and I haven't even finished that with the games. And honestly, seeing this is bringing my strive to want to do that. So I probably will end up doing that and finishing the last of those games for the spooky month of October. And as soon as this movie drops, obviously I'm gonna do a review on it. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little breakdown, see if we can catch any Easter eggs on here because I'm very excited. So anyway, hang on. Let's without further ado. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be pausing here and there. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Honestly, uh, the actors they got pretty good. So, let's Every see. Story has a beginning. So right there, that was Claire Redfield. If you remember at the beginning of Resident Evil 2, she was driving to Raccoon City uh, to basically look for her brother. And from here, it looks like, yep, we're in Raccoon City. Ooh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I didn't catch that. Okay. Okay, so right here, yo, okay, so we got the Umbrella Corporation already in here. I believe, well, these are the corp these are the soldiers that Umbrella sends in for to gain, you know, samples of the virus that was released in Raccoon City, the T-Virus. Well, technically, they weren't going for the T-Virus, they're going for uh, the G-Virus. But, yeah, their goal is to look for that sample, at least in Resident Evil 2, if I'm correct or correctly. I need to play Resident Evil 2. I'm going to, but anyway, I'm side sidetracking. So this is the Umbrella Corps squadron. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see Hunk. Hunk was a, uh, like, known for the survivor of the Resident Evil games that you would play as. So maybe, honestly, it'd be cool if we could see it, uh, see him here. He doesn't, he does talk a little bit, but it'd be interesting to see him. A nice Hunk cameo. So... Ah, I forgot the actress's name is playing Claire Redfield. Uh, Kayla Scadelario is playing Claire Redfield. You know, her name was right here, and I don't know, but I didn't want to assume that was her name. Anyway, she's playing Claire Redfield, and we're probably maybe going to follow her on her journey for a little bit. Uh, yo, they even got the... Hey, Sony? Okay. Well, I think a lot of the Resident Evil games were on PlayStation. Do September 30th, 1998. Oh, that's... Yeah, okay. Oh, man, they already got the date, too. Oh, Umbrella. Uh, I'm excited. Yep, all Sony. So we have Raccoon City. Claire. Okay. Uh, so we have. Hang on, let me back up a little bit. So we got. Uh, we got Robbie Amell playing Chris Redfield, which I think pretty good choice. Honestly, it's pretty sick. Um, uh, where is it going with this? So yeah, for those of you who don't know, Claire and Chris Redfield are siblings. They're related, and Claire goes. The whole reason Claire goes to. Uh, Raccoon City is to go look for him after he goes missing. So I'm assuming maybe this is before he goes missing and he's at the mansion because uh, I don't remember and I hate that I don't remember because uh, I don't remember specifically what happened with Raccoon City because I know Jill goes to Raccoon City after the whole mansion event but I don't know where Chris is during that time. And who knows maybe when I play the games I'll understand more but uh, yeah let's continue on. Oh, we got Leon in the back with Claire. They're entering, it looks like the underground facility for Resident Evil 2, if some of y'all remember that. Okay, so we got, is that her? Okay, no, it looks like it's still Chris and uh, Claire in the buildings. Claire with her whole conspiracies. Claire is big on the whole taking down big governments that want to do wrong. She's a very, I guess, humanitarian almost. Uh, I don't know who that scientist is. I honestly, I, I, I couldn't tell you. Well, more Raccoon City. Umbrella, they have an 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, I saw this and was actually very, uh, well, intrigued. That's Neil McDonough. He's going to be playing Neil McDonough. Sorry. He's playing William Birkin. And for those of you who don't know, William Birkin is the creator of the G virus who ends up, you know, mutating. So I wonder if we'll see that. Oh, this building. Do I remember that if this area, this is where Sherry Birkin, his daughter, uh, was in during Resident Evil 2 when she was trying to escape that crazy sheriff or that corrupt sheriff. But yeah. Okay. So we got. Jill, I believe, uh, was it? Hannah John Cameron is playing Jill Valentine. Pretty, pretty sick. I don't know why I'm saying their full government name, but you know, eh, you know, something like, uh, she's from Ant Man, if y'all, I don't know, if y'all don't remember. Ooh, we got, whoa, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. This all, this is a lot. Okay, so this guy, um, we got Tom Hopper is Albert Wesker, so it's sick. I don't know why I'm saying the act name, but anyway, uh, we got Tom Albert, he's Wesker, who we know as, uh, you know, big bad guy from, you know, spoilers if you don't play, you know, the, the Resident Evil game. All right, spoilers, sorry about that. Spoilers for you guys who didn't play the Resident Evil games. He's the guy, leader of the stars. Uh, ooh, I wonder if we're going to see him wear their stars jackets, because I know we see him wear the RPD uniforms. They're wearing their iconic clothing, but I don't know. Maybe I'll look at it. Maybe we'll see in the trailer if they're wearing their sick uh, stars uniforms. But we got uh, him playing Albert Wesker. We got Wesker here, so it's going to be exciting. I wonder if... Uh, if it is the sequences of Resident Evil 1 through 2, what, I wonder if we'll see that, you know, that good old ty uh, tyrant uh, kill. So that would be cool. Oh, we got, I believe that's the creature in the chains from Resident Evil 1 that you were running for. She, like, she was like a test experiment that ended up surviving. Uh, so I think she's in this movie. And that's honestly going to be pretty sick to see and them elaborate more. Because there was a lot of files that I had read when I was going through the gameplay. And I, again, I'll have links to that all over the place um, at the end of this video. So y'all can go check out that epic series. Because it was pretty it was pretty awesome. And I'm looking forward to going back. Ooh, RPG, Raccoon City. Okay, we got what's his name? Uh, nah, pff, wrong name. We got Avin... A, whatever uh the dude from victorious if y'all remember to by people who are not that old uh is playing leon so not bad i mean leon's more of a blonde guy but eh, it, 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 it works i, I can see it pull it off it's all about i don't care if they do hair color changes or whatever the hell as long as the character doesn't change i'm okay with it don't change the character that's all i care about got zombies RPD. Ooh. Okay, so we got the truck driver uh, who was at the beginning of Resident Evil 2. Who, yep. Like, that was heavily CGI. I don't know if I could. Maybe it's unfinished. I could, like, tell that was CGI. Oh, man. They don't want to use live, like, real props now? I don't know. Anyway, that's when, you know, he ends up crashing. It's also very empty. I remember a lot more zombies being here. I don't know why it's so empty. Who is this guy? I don't know. Why did I zoom on his. I don't know who that guy is. Oh, and then the truck explodes. Zombies. Just some cop. Zombie dogs as you do the helicopter. November 24th. So November 24th is when this movie comes out. Woo! Excited. All right, all right. I don't know why they're playing this song. This song, I don't know. Zombies as you do. We got Claire, Claire and Chris trying to... Talk about okay, so maybe maybe I was wrong. Maybe my speculation was wrong. Hey, let me not pause on a bright light. Uh, maybe my speculation was wrong. Maybe he got back from the mansion and they're talking about it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. What's this? We'll see. This is very interesting. Yeah. And then she goes to RPD after talking with him. Yeah. She. Nope. Chilling with Leon. Ah, oh, the vest, dude. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta get a zoom up on that vest. Oh god, dang it. I gotta get a zoom up of that vest, dude. Oh man. Woo, I'm, I'm, dude, I'm, guys, I am excited for this movie. And leave a like and let me know in the comments if y'all are excited too. I, I'm a huge Resident Evil fan and I'm very upset. I need to do more Resident Evil content on this channel. I feel it. I'm feeling that, that inspiration, you know? All right, let's go. Okay, so we got, oh, okay, this is their first landing here. I don't know if that's Brad. This could be Brad um, from, what is it? Resident Evil 3. I remember seeing him in the trailers. The Brad. Also uh, in the in Resident Evil 1. So that could be Brad. He's known for wearing stuff like this. Um, then we got Wesker. This is probably when they're heading to the mansion for the first time. I don't think we'll see Resident Evil st 0 stuff. Maybe we'll get some references. Maybe. But uh, I don't think we'll see any Resident Evil 0. Uh, uh, the mansion. Dude, hang on, hang on. The mansion. Oh, man. Dude, guys. 
Excitement. All right, hang on. Let's keep going. Uh, we got Bur a Birkin again. Uh, this might be the girl uh, as she's mutating, or maybe her mother. Who I'm not too sure. Or maybe a first victim of a zombie. Oh, I think that is, this might be Sherry Birkin. Maybe. I'm, I, I'm, hev I'm heavily... Maybe. I'm on a big maybe there. This is probably a sh Bur uh, Birkin's daughter right there. And this is him analyzing the stuff. Oh, we got the elevator. Oh, the underground sequence. Oh, man. Oh, no. I think I think that was an RPD. Yeah, this is where she finds out all the... In the, in the police station where she finds out all the people, what they were working on. Yep. Ashford twin. The Ashford twins? I don't know why I'm being all loud. Twins! If I'm correct, Ashford was the name of the... No. I think... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet because I don't think the Ashford twin... At first, I thought the Ashford twin was the name of the girl that got experimented on. And they added an extra one just because. But I, I think that wasn't... The Ashford wasn't her name. So that could... I could be wrong about that. Uh, Umbrella Corp. Yes, sir. That's right. Umbrella doing here. So, oh, right. I should have probably said at the beginning. For those of you who don't know, Umbrella Corporation is a pharmaceutical company, you know, being pharmacists, but they're also doing secret experiments. So they had this reputation of being the good guys, quotes. Uh, but in, but then later on, you go into the game, you find out they're not so good. They were making biological we bio weapons, B-O-Ws, as they're known. And yeah, so it was like, what are they doing? So yeah, it was a big, like, what? The far. The pharmaceutical companies are are being evil. They're meant to help people. So, but no, they're making bioweapons. Anyway, continue. You're experimenting on them. Yep, experiments. Yep, there she is, the girl. Hang on, Lisa Trevor. Yes, I didn't catch that. So for you, the Lisa Trevor will probably have like a PNG or something of her popping up. Um, Lisa Trevor is the experiment of the girl. So she was not the Ashford twins. The Ashford twins, I don't remember, and I'm very sad about that. But Lisa Trevor was the girl that got experimented on. Her father, who was also who had worked with Umbrella, was killed, trapped, uh, and left to die. Her mother and her were tested on. Her mother ended up dying. She, however, lived and went through all these experiments. So yeah, this is her, Lisa Trevor. She is very dangerous too. She's like bulletproof. Uh, Wesker and Jill. I don't know who this is. This might be the Ashford twin, but I don't know, like, legitimately. I don't know who she is. I don't remember her at all. And maybe she, maybe she's from Resident Evil 3. I didn't play the game, so I, I don't know. But I don't remember her so far the other games. Ah, uh, yeah, the library. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's still a mansion. My bad. That's still a mansion. We got Wesker and Jill. Chris. Are they wearing the bed? I can't see. Oh, like it's so dark in the lighting. I really want to see. Ah! Okay. So the. Oh, that's what's his name? That's not. Oh, I thought it was Barry. That's not Barry. That's a. Uh, oh, he went with um. He was with uh. What's it called? He was with Jill. He was like. He was another you know stars agent that was uh. Not so. I haven't finished the Jill run. So, I don't know where his allegiance really was. But I know he was not really a, a really good guy. He was, uh, Barry. There you go, Barry. Um, so I know Barry... I have to, again, I have to finish to see exactly where he lies. And if maybe he dies or something. But yeah, for all I know, he's some, there's, not, there's, there's something up to him. He knew about the STARS members being killed. At least that's what we heard. And then we got, uh, we got... Obviously, we got Wesker and... Chris, I don't know why I struggled. I can't. They're wearing their outfits, which is awesome. But I don't know if it says stars in the back. I really hope it does. I can't tell from the lighting. Got Claire and Leon in the prison. This is where that interviewer guy was. It's weird that they're both there. But, you know, the games, they have two sides of the story. So I'm sure they're going to probably pick or maybe mix the two. Which would, honestly, that would be pretty cool. What is this music? Uh, this is them discovering secrets about... Ah, oh, yes, you love to see it. The opening mansion. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I'm, uh, I'm excited. This is what the... This is this is them doing it right. This is why I have such high hopes. They're doing it right. Because the last Resident Evil movies, we didn't get any of this. It wasn't that. Anyway, I'm pandering. But, yes. Okay, this is them in the... The piano room in the mansion. Yep, yep. This is where this... I don't know who that is. I, I think that might be Wesker Seal. But this is them in the piano room. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, yeah, this is the piano room. Yeah, okay, I, was, I wasn't crazy. Yeah, this is the piano room. Uh, but why is there a helicopter crashing into the... Okay, I need I need to finish the Jill run. I need to finish the Jill run to know what how this happened because this helicopter scene technically happens in the man in the in the police station, not the mansion. But who knows? Maybe it actually happens in the game. Oh, dude, this Easter egg. Oh, they're together. Uh, that guy. I think. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I don't know why I pointed. Y'all can't see me. Okay, this guy right here. I probably have like an image of it popping up. This guy ended up dying. At least he's looking like the guy just because of his hair it could be wrong uh he could be uh brad but this guy because his hair's long I'm, I'm affiliating with the character uh is a character that ended up dying i think outside of the mansion patio where chris had saw him you know he slumped over he ends up turning into a zombie you have to put him down but yeah that's i think that maybe who this guy is or maybe it's still brad dude this right here this scene right here straight from Obviously in real life, uh, obviously in live action, but straight from the video game. This is like the scene you first when you very first interact with a zombie. I'll probably have a little PNG play um, or something uh, as when you first interact with a zombie. But yeah, it's it's so good. That's a, that's a big history. It's so good. And then that's you gunning down zombies. Ah, oh, this famous uh, dude. I because I played RE One, I'm like kind of recognizing some of these maps or some of the parts of this. Like this, this is that snare part. There was those crows in the corner. I remember I would always traverse this because the safe room was right here too. But yep, he's gunning down zombies. People are getting eaten. Itchy, tasty. That's about the whole. Okay, so itchy, tasty. I remember for one of the files where a dude was like saying I was very itchy, very itchy. So, and like he, you, you would progressively as you kept re reading the file, he was progressively getting uh, more and more. Uh, what's it called? What's the word? He was deteriorating. I guess his demeanor was getting more and more wonky as he kept going through the file, and all he said was itchy, tasty, hungry. Or no, itchy, hungry. But yeah, that's kind of it's kind of a little neat Easter egg. At least that's what I'm associating it to. But yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, the experiment. I don't know. Again, I don't know what this is from. Uh, that might it's probably just something new, and that's pretty cool. I got the zombies breaking in. Uh, oh, he's got the badge. I don't know if it says it on his back. I can't see. Okay, so he has the Starge badge, which is sick. So they're still wearing their iconic outfits. It looks like they do end up meeting up. So I wonder when. So obviously the movie's probably doing its own thing, but. There's a few. It's still got a lot of source material, and it's following a lot of it, and I love it. Uh, we got the stars badge. I don't know if it says stars in the back. I really hope it does. That'd be sick. Um, but yeah. So they're trying to escape. Leon shooting zombies in a prison. Fear, as you do. What is this music? Uh, okay, what is happening? I was going down the hall. Dude, zombie dogs? God, those suckers were so annoying. Oh, so this is heavy, ad <laughs> heavily on CG, my god. But no, it's okay. Uh, excited. She's taking them. Oh. We got more zombies. Got more zombies. Oh, she's trying to take out Umbrella. Contagious. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on, let's go back, let's go back. Okay. This thing. Now, this might be the G creature that... Uh, Birkin turns into it don't try to see from the environment. It looks like they're probably in the train part Maybe or maybe it's something else. Oh, dude. They kept the eyes. Oh, man it's Resident Evil just loves giving things big eyes for some reason, but it's because it's just the weak point But yeah, this probably is the G creature um, That Birkin turns into again spoilers if you didn't if you don't know the Resident Evil stuff, but um yeah, so this is probably it, and maybe this honestly looks like it's in its. I think it's prime form, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because it's kind of slouching over. It's probably in its prime before it gets all you know, mushy. But that's so cool. This is odd, oh, man. I'm excited. I was worried we weren't gonna see this creature, but now, I'm actually. I you know I'm happy we actually are, we're actually going to. I didn't think we would, but yes, this this right here shows that we are going to. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on I gotta go back. Oh, right there. That's Birkin right here. Okay. Yep. You can even tell from my eyes. He got... Is that Birkin? Yeah, that's Birkin. Either he, he didn't turn into a zombie. Doesn't look like he did. No. Um, so this is probably after he got shot up because Wesker betrayed him trying to get his you know creation because he was taking too long, as they said. And he ended up injecting himself with the G virus and became, you know, the creature that we see. Uh, I don't know why I rewinded so long. The creature that, yeah, he ends up becoming this. So, 
this is probably showing him, you know, turning. Yeah, he injected himself with the G virus in order to save himself. And, you know, became that monster later on. So that's going to be awesome. We're in the Raccoon City hallway. Her and him. There it- Oh my- It's a liquor! The iconic Resident Evil 2 monster. Let's freaking go. Or B-O-W. Sorry, it's a B-O-W. These are very iconic. Uh, very- It looks like the one from RE2. Like, it really does- Yeah, it's like- It's falling- It's looking more like the RE2 liquor than the, um, the one they did in back in the other Resident Evil movie, the first one, where it looked like, you know, RE2 liquor, but from, like, the video games, so- they, because they made it a lot more slimmer and more realistic looking in RE2 video game as compared to when they just made it all bulky. Like, kind of like from what it looked like in the CGI movies. But yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, it's... Oh, it's so... It's so good. These suckers, those suckers, at least in the game, were like near impossible to kill. Let's just avoid them. Be quiet. Um... But yeah, it's so cool. The liquors are back. Oh man, I I'm so excited. Let's keep going. Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. But yeah, I'm gonna pause it there because then it'll show up the pups. But um, very excited. Very, very, very excited and reasonably so for this. I freaking love Resident Evil. And oh my. God, I just cannot wait for this. I really want to see what they're doing. They, they, from seeing this, it already has my expectations to a not not not, not a high. Well, yeah, my expectations are high. They're higher than the original movie just because of so much source material they're going from and all these neat little Easter eggs and map things I'm noticing. Um, but yeah, it's oh my god, I'm excited. Uh, it's already I've already, yeah, it's a must see for me. I'm going to go watch this and I'll review it when it comes out. But yeah, guys, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, my God, I'm tapping everything. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know. Uh, what are we I'm just going to. There we go. Resident Evil. Oh, my God. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Very excited again for this franchise, for this movie, dude. And if it does well, maybe we'll get other movies. If it does well, we'll see. If not, it could be a nice one-off. It looks like, again, they're merging one through three all together. Or maybe just one and two. I don't know. We'll have to watch to see and find out. But... Yes, I'm very excited for this movie. Lots of Easter eggs, <laughs> nice map things that I was noticing that I pretty I don't know if anybody else would notice. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this movie. Are you gonna see this movie? Are you excited for this movie? Or are you just you're not <laughs> excited at all because you know of the last garbage of Resident Evil films? But anyways, let me know. And we'll obviously we're gonna do some more uh, we're gonna do some more uh, Resident Evil stuff on the channel. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to blast that like button as the universe. Subscribe, hit that bell notification as I do upload every day, and I will see you guys in the next video. DBZ Mando, signing out.